Hi, this is Jenny from Gunter Creative. Today we're going to make a photo album. And I started off by tearing the sheets against a ruler uh, to the right size. It's a 9x6 photo album. So it will fit 5x7 um, five or 5x5 five five or 4x6 standard size pictures really well. Here I'm just rearranging the pages so that not all the straight edges are together and such. Um, now I'm punching the holes. I'm marked on my hole punch with the pencil where it should go based on the holes in the cover. Then I needed to punch holes in the strips as well. These strips are going to make the spine a little bit thicker so that you'll have some extra space in the thickness of your book to add your photographs. I'm using three quarter inch long Chicago screws. Right here I'm measuring the spine with my little measuring tool so I will know how wide to cut my leather with the laser. It's 2.25 inches. So I've got my leather cut and I'm burnishing it where the holes go. Put your little Chicago screws in first and then add the sheets of paper and your little filler sheets. I decided on this one to cut them down to one inch wide. I think that will work pretty well. So it's going to be a full sheet, then a filler sheet, and every other one until you get it full and all your sheets in there. The filler sheets, I don't know if you can notice on here, I'm doing it so fast. <laughs> um, they're not quite as long as the full sheets, and, and that's okay. Just make sure they don't stick out too far on the back. Now I've got my back page on there and the leather and I'm putting the screws in. Sometimes they're a little hard to get in there. So the book turned out well, but then I took it back apart and decided to add a little embellishment on the spine. These, this will just be little faux stitches um, to make it um, kind of look like the book is stitched. I'd like to find some red Chicago screws to blend in with that leather. Black might have worked better than the um, antique brass that I used. So you just kind of cut a strip and you fit it there between your covers and decide what kind of pattern you'd like to make. This one will be just three X's and they're each half inch wide and I wanted to make sure they're each the same distance from the edges. So just do a little measuring and I eyeballed some of it. You're going to put your little template that you made back on your leather and use an awl or something sharp to poke holes through in just the right spots. Now I'm just kind of looking real closely at them and poking it through from the front side as well. So when you start stitching you can very clearly see where they need to go. Now I'm trying to decide what color to use. Blue, maybe not. Brown, orange, brown good, goes good. My husband and I were married in the year 2000 and um, that was before orange and brown weddings were cool, but we had an orange and brown wedding. Orange is my favorite color. So you start on the inside. You don't have to use a curved needle. I'm just very used to using curved needles. Um, I'm not so used to using the camera as you can tell. 
So it really doesn't matter what it looks like on the inside because you'll, that'll never be seen. So just make sure your stitching looks the way you want it to look on the outside. And see, I decided to go with little X's. And now that I have part of it done, I'm going to tie a knot. Now I'm going to go from the inside out again and across on the outside to make my second X. And this is a stitch that can very well be used for a book that is stitched. Um, this one just happens to not be stitched. So I'm going to go back to the outside, just making sure I put it in the right spot. Make my third X. And that's it. It just adds a little extra interest to your spine. Makes it look a little more custom, special. And I just tied a knot on the inside there. Now you put your Chicago screws back in and your paper back on, even though I did it once already. Here I go again. I also added some decorative paper. It's got a white pattern on it. Just make sure you've got those strips in there so that when you add your photographs, it's not going to make that front edge of your book body swell too much. You don't, you don't want your book body to be thicker than your spine. So that's why you add those extra pieces in the spine if you know you're gonna add pictures. There's the finished book. Now I like to use photo corners on plain paper and it's smart just to put your photo corners on the picture you're gonna add and um, these happen to be the kind that you get wet and they get sticky and then you set it in there where you want it to go. It's a lot easier than trying to put the photo corners in and then the picture. Why not just put them both in at the same time? There we are, babies. All of the children in these pictures are grown and with children of their own now. Time flies, especially when you're having fun. See how pretty our flowers were? Orange and brown. My mom thought we were crazy, but it was beautiful. So there you go. Very cool looking photo album. Can be customized for any occasion. Thank you and happy bookmaking!